Yes, sir. So I'm back at it with another workout, but this time it's strictly body weight. If you're into old school body weight training, then you know the benefits of this style. It's simple, convenient, functional, and challenging if you do it right. Shout out to the coach that I really look up to for putting this workout together a while back. His name is Zach Evanesh. If you've been in the YouTube streets for over a decade and you followed a lot of fitness coaches, then you'll know who Zach Evanesh is. One of the biggest pioneers in the fitness game, especially when it comes to functional strength and athleticism. So I started off with a superset of box jumps and plyometric pushups for three reps each. I did a total of seven rounds for this one with pretty much no rest in between because it's very low in reps, but it is plyometrics. So it's best to keep the reps low because it develops explosive power and get you primed for the main workout. You don't really want to burn yourself out with plyometrics. Next, I did a superset of vertical wall walks and plyometric pull-ups. I did a ladder set of wall walks. So I started at five reps and descended down to one rep. And honestly, this was pretty damn tough because it's a true test of strength and endurance in the upper body, as well as core strength. And the setup is pretty simple. Of course, you just get in the push-up position, walk your hands back to the wall until you're in the handstand position. So after each set of wall walks, I did a sub max set of pull-ups, switching my hand grips between each rep just to add a bit of variety. Sub max means you're not going to complete failure. You're just stopping two to three reps shy of failure. My sub max reps were between eight to 10 reps and the workout actually called for rope climbs, but I didn't have a rope. So pull-ups just had to do. So this was a super set of weighted dips and weighted by the weight rows. The rep ranges between these two were between eight to 10. And here I'm using rings because I didn't have actual dip bars, but it's cool because obviously the rings are more challenging anyway. It requires more stability and focus because you know, if you're not careful with these, you can end up in Snap City. But yeah, I added an air pack, which is an extra 20 to 30 pounds. And then I hopped my feet onto the hose rack and banged out the rows. I did a total of four rounds with this superset, resting about one to two minutes in between. All right, so the last part of this workout was a tricep, which is three movements back to back. First movement was V-ups. I did 10 reps of this. Simple core movement is also good for recovery, get the blood flowing, you know, working the full midsection of your abs. The second movement was weighted walking lunges for 15 reps each leg. The total is 30 reps, of course. And side note, I highly recommend variations of single leg movements, especially when you're doing mostly body weight because it requires more stability and strength because you're working one limb at a time as opposed to bilateral movements like squats. Now, unilateral and bilateral movements are damn good. Don't get it twisted. You should be doing both. Don't try to decide if either or is best. They're both the best. And for the last movement, I finished off with knees to elbows or knee raises, whatever y'all want to call it. I did 10 reps of this. And of course, I kept the air pack on just to make it more challenging on the grip and upper body. Overall, it was three sets for this tricep. And that was pretty much the end of the workout. Good solid session with emphasis on strength, power, and endurance throughout the whole body. And that's just what I like. I don't really care for bro splits or upper and lower body days. I like to work the body as a whole unit because if you're training for performance, whether you're a sport athlete or a tactical athlete, your full body will work as a unit to get the job done. And that's just what this workout did. So thank you to Coach Zach for this session. I highly recommend every human to go back to the basics and master their own body weight. It doesn't have to be your main source of training, but I highly encourage people to be strong and capable with handling their own body weight. There's a quote from Josh Bryant, another great coach, by the way, author of Jail How Strong. He stated, anything outside of your body weight is a luxury. And thankfully, everyone will have access to this luxury for the rest of their lives. Get it done. Thank you for watching. If you try to work out, let me know what you think in the comments below.